Rook's gonna just take with the Rook, still preparing for a6, a5 to stabilize the pawn structure. And I don't see much of a much of a problem for Black. Well, another entertaining game till that point, and actually the girls are on our screen. It's Katerina Lagno versus uh, Nafisa Muminova. And let's find out what's happening there. So we saw bishop c3, bishop f6, I guess. And well, and to my surprise, bishop b2 followed. Bishop b2, queen b2. The line which I, I've really mentioned, I guess. So uh, gf6, knight c6, knight c6 d5 and knight a5 well I <laughs> have to say Nafisa played it in very tricky as I missed this line in my in my previous analysis as well what's basically what happens uh, I just missed uh, the fact that queen b5 can be answered with c6 c6 which turns to be rather tricky in case of dc6 there is queen b uh, knight b3 for black knight b3 check and uh, well in king c2 black plays knight d4 and after rook d4 queen d4 yeah looks like black is just winning so d5 knight a5 and d6 the same knight b3 first mm, well why does to play king c2 and then queen e7 and of course with such an exposed king black is um, such an exposed, exposed white king black is obviously better so after all knight a5 looks like a nice move here heading to b3 oops no 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 not like that to b3 not b2 